You just learned that your pharmacist dispensed the wrong medication, and now you've been taking that wrong medication for days or even weeks. And now you want to know, can you go ahead and bring a lawsuit against the pharmacist for being careless? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. Come join me on this walk as I now go down the stairs as I share with you the answer to this question. In order to know whether or not you may have a valid case against the pharmacy for dispensing incorrect medication, we first need to evaluate and look to see what medication you were supposed to be getting. Then we need to see what the prescription was. What was it for? For how many days? For how many weeks? Uh, what was the dosage? And now, who made the mistake? Was it a mistake by the pharmacist filling the prescription? Was it a mistake by the physician writing out the prescription? Maybe it was an incorrect dosage. That's something we need to look at and evaluate, and usually we can find that information out pretty quickly. Okay, so what else do we need to know? We need to know what injuries you suffered as a direct result of you taking that improper medication. Now, why do we need to know that? Because in these types of pharmacy cases, we need to know not just that the pharmacist dispense the wrong medication, but that you took this medication for a period of time and now you suffer significant injury or damage because you took that incorrect medication. That's how we know whether or not you may have a valid basis for a case. So in that instance where you believe that a doctor prescribed you correct medication, gave you the correct dosage, but now it was improperly filled by the pharmacist, now we have to get those medical records in addition to the pharmacy records to see what exactly they dispense to you. Importantly, you need to keep that bottle of medication so that we can look to see what it was, whether the label was correct, whether the medication was correct, and if not, we need to clarify and identify exactly what medication you were given. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you a little insight into what goes on in these pharmacy malpractice cases in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you came with me to see the bunny rabbits that out here, that's out here now. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but regardless, I know you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but hi, oh my God, it's a cute little bunny, um, but have not done so yet and now have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.